Hey guys, welcome back to Silver Creek Doodles. I am Billy Jenkins. Today I want to kind of take you along. I'm going to show two different clips of, um, for one, why it's important to weigh your puppies every day and make sure that they're gaining weight. Um, this is one of our puppies that after I was, I think it was like day four and five, um, she had stayed right at the same weight and I could just tell that she, she was hungry. Um, but it just, it, it wasn't, um, like she wasn't eating very well. It was just weird. So, and her weight wasn't gaining. So we liked it for them to gain and half an ounce to an ounce um, every day and, um, or more, but we definitely need to be gaining more than, than just staying the same thing or they will start declining and going downhill. So, um, just a short story. Thankfully I used to do wildlife rehab. So to raise a possum, you have to tube feed them. And I have tube fed a handful, hundreds actually of possums. And, um, you know, it's, so I'm so thankful that I grew up well, I grew up on a farm, you know, grew up, you know, raising all kinds of stuff. But then I also worked at a vet for seven years and I also did wildlife rehab at that same time. So when orphan stuff would come in, I would be able to hand raise them in, in the way, the right way that you're supposed to, so they can be released. But anyways, um, so I tried to just like syringe feed her because anytime I would go to put her on the mom, she would, oh, I know. She would go to, she'd be hungry, 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 go to suck, and then she would start sucking, and then she'd back up and like open her mouth and yawn. And um, it was just really weird. I'm like, okay, something, either her tummy hurts or something going on with her, like taste buds aren't liking what the milk tastes like, whatever. So I went ahead and mixed up some milk, started syringe feeding her. She didn't like it. So I said, well, I'm not gonna let you fight it. Let's just go ahead and tube you um get some milk in you so that's these next two clips are going to show us tubing kind of explaining a little bit at first um and we did it for about three and a half days before she started getting her strength back and thankfully we did it because now she is two weeks tomorrow and she is one healthy plump girl that's almost caught up to the other ones again already and they were gaining a pound or two a day when she wasn't so, um, but yeah, so that's, that's just a good reason why you're supposed to definitely weigh them every day, keep a check on them and make sure they're doing all right. So watch the videos and then at the end, let me know what you think. So I've got a puppy that hasn't really gained much weight, like tiny, tiny bit over the last couple of days. And we can't do like that. So um, I have started to, and I can tell she's kind of getting listless a little bit. Um, so what I've started to do is supplement feeding. I've looked, like I'm trying to feel, is there anything going on in her mouth? Um, I can't see anything. I know she's hungry because when she goes up to the mom, like when I put her in there, she she wants to eat and as soon as she like goes to get on the teat she yawns and then stops so i don't know what that is um i don't know if her belly hurts what's going on she's got good poop i didn't know she did have loose poop at one time um but we're gonna supplement her not too much at a time but enough to where she'll she's getting calories on her to hopefully up her strength so um so she'll eat on her own so I've got the milk that I've mixed up already pulled up in syringes. I've got the feeding tube. I have marked the feeding tube with a marker, if you can see right there, for to know that it's gonna be in her belly. And what I do is you, if you run it down the left, see how she's yawning? That's what I'm talking about and I don't know what it is. Um, anyways, if you run it just directly in her mouth and as you're pushing it back, she's swallowing as long as it goes to that marker point, then it's definitely in her in her stomach. If it stopped shorter than that, um, then it could have went in, you know, the lung path or in that way. Now, every time you change a syringe, make sure that it doesn't come out um, that the tube, like if she's wiggling, 
that the tube has not made its way further out because you don't want to then stick the next one on and it um, and it at make her aspirate. See like how she's wiggling it could come up or if she catches her foot on it and pulls it that'll happen. You just got to make sure hold it with these fingers so it can't go. I've got around her neck holding her neck not tight just holding her and then I've got the part holding the tube in and I'm just pushing slow. Oh I should have had the syringe in while I was doing it for the video purpose. Then once I get to the end obviously you have to be stopping you don't have to crimp it but just pull it out as long as nothing else is coming. So that was about about 10 cc's that I'm doing at a time. And she does whine when I do it and that is I think mainly just because it's a weird feeling in her belly because these two things as it's coming out it's I'm sure it's you see those little things I'm sure it puts pressure you know up in her stomach like what is that feeling? All right, well, that's Miss Pink Girl for Beatrix's puppy, and we've been supplementing tube feeding for about two days now, uh, seeing a teeny bit of weight gain, but not much, not even an ounce. We're just, it's like 0.2 of an ounce, so we're trying to really intervene to make sure that she doesn't get weak and go downhill. So say a little prayer for Miss Pink. Pretty cool huh so I'm definitely grateful that I know how to do that I've taught other breeders how um, I've done it in person I've actually taken a puppy from a breeder before and um, you know kept under a heat lamp and tube fed and all of that and gave back a week later and raised raised a lot of different things by tube feeding but um, you know we definitely want to be aware of what we're doing make sure we're doing it correctly let our babies thrive um, if this is your first time here, uh, thanks for coming and watching and hit the subscribe link below. Also hit the bell notifications. So you can get updates, stuff like this with our little pink princess from Beatrix's litter. And then, um, yeah, if you've been here before and you're watching, welcome back. Thanks. We'll see you later. Bye.